it's Jenny from Origami Tree bringing you free crafty fun all year round and today we'll be making a paper flexagon. So the flexagon is a really fun paper fidget toy that you can just kind of spin around. It's really quite cool. Before we jump into the video, if you are new to this channel, please consider becoming a crafty friend because I post new crafty fun videos all year round. So hit that subscribe button, also turn on those notifications, and without further ado, let's jump right in. To make the flexagon, you're going to need a long strip of paper that is a 1 to 3 ratio. So this is 3 inches by 9 inches. You also need a pencil and an eraser, some clear tape, a ruler or a T-square to help you make right angles. I personally like the T-square better. And this is optional, but I like to use a bone folder as well when I work with heavy cardstock. The first step is to take your long sheet of paper and flip it around so that the pattern side is facing down towards the table away from you. Now divide your sheet of paper in half lengthwise. So I am just marking off one and a half inches. And with my T-square, I'm drawing a line straight across. Now from the left to right side, I'm going to mark off every one and a half inches. So that's one and a half, three, four and a half, six, and seven and a half. Then draw vertical lines at those points. So now we have a two by six grid of one and a half inch squares. Now we're going to draw our diagonal lines and the first one I'm going to make is going to include these two squares right at the top right corner. So I'm going to align my ruler right over here and draw a diagonal line straight across. The next line is going to run across this one, this one, this one, and that one. Put your ruler from this corner to this corner and draw a line straight across. Now let's draw one across this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's draw one from here to here. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So first diagonal line we're going to draw is going to be from this corner to this corner. One across this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now line across this one, this one, this one, and this one. And finally a line from here to here. So now we're going to work on some of the folds and you always want to make valley folds. And what valley folds are, are ones that kind of fold towards you as opposed to folding, you know, this way and back. So the first one over here will be folded like this. And notice how I'm folding towards myself. And then you can take a bone folder and strengthen that crease a little bit. So one trick that I like to do, because when you're folding towards yourself, you can't really see the crease that you're folding at. I like to take a ruler and a bone folder, especially if the paper is really thick. And I like to trace the creases with a uh, ruler and bone folder before I make the creases. So um, this also helps you to make like straighter folds, if that makes sense, because you're already pre-creasing with a bone folder. Just like that. And if you don't have a bone folder, you can use a credit card or something like that. So now you have that crease already kind of made and you know which direction you're going at. So you would basically just fold all of the diagonals first. Now we have all of the diagonal folds done, and now let's work on the other ones. So now I have all of these creases done, and now let's work on the vertical creases. Finally, let's fold along that long horizontal center crease that we did at the very first step. And this one, you don't really need a bone folder because you're just folding the entire sheet of paper in half. 
So now that we have all the creases done and fold it towards us, making valley folds, we're going to take our strip of tape so I would do a little bit at a time um, because if you, you know, make a length of tape that's too long, it's just going to get really messy. So I'm going to tape here like that. Just tape it shut. Get another strip of tape. So now it is all sealed up. And so basically what you want to do is identify all the squares. So let me just crease those in so that it's easier to see on camera. So these are all the squares. So right in between two squares, you're going to have one side that attaches both squares together. What you want to do is you want to pinch down along that point. So just pinch and it should kind of fall into place and create this little um, bow shape here. So here we have two squares. You just want to pinch two squares and pinch. So now we have this little loopy thing that kind of looks like a snake. And now the next step is to put everything together. So we're gonna close it up and we're going to tape these two loose ends. Let's take some of our tape and do that right here. Now it's sealed. So now you just want to flip it. You can flip it this way or you can flip the other way, but I'm going to flip it this way until you find this opening here that doesn't have any tape. And you're going to put some tape here as well. So now you just want to keep flipping it a little bit just so the paper gets used to, um, I guess, moving in a certain direction. And after that, you are completely done and you can just keep flipping and flipping forever. Um, it goes this way and it also goes this way. I like to use busy patterns. So like this one, for example, I made earlier and it's a lot of fun because it's kind of, I don't know, the pattern makes it really cool and kaleidoscopy. But anyway, that is how you make a flexagon. Thanks for watching. I hope you like that paper flexagon. Leave a comment below letting me know what you'd like to see next on this channel. And also, if you're not a crafty friend already, be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be alerted of new crafty fun videos when they come out. I post new videos every single week. Wouldn't want you to miss it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!